Warp Stabilization is an incredible plugin and a very useful part of Premiere Pro. It is, however, extremely slow and that can get annoying when you're having to use it along across um, large numbers of clips. So we're just going to look today at a very quick method of improving that speed and uh, see whether it will help on your system. So what I'm going to do here is, on uh, Windows anyway, bring in my uh, task manager so you can see my CPU utilization. Uh, there's certain stuff going on at the moment because obviously I'm capturing this um, tutorial and the computer is doing various other bits and pieces while, um, while, I'm, uh, while I'm speaking here. But I'm going to go here and search for the warp stabilization and double click and in CS6 uh, and CC that should uh, drop the effect onto your footage which you can see now it's started to perform its analysis here so 5256 frames this is 50 frames per second footage so it takes a bit longer don't worry I'm not going to do the whole thing what what's important to note right now is that our CPU utilization has gone up here to 60 ooh, 70 70 about 70 percent on average not too bad but it would does make you wonder where the rest of where the other 30 percent is going and uh, whether you could uh, best better use your cpu one way of doing it which seems to work okay i haven't actually timed this stuff but uh, hey why don't you do that <laughs> click cancel on there i'm just going to remove that clip just to make sure we do actually I'm going to bring in the same clip. Hopefully there won't be anything sort of in memory. It shouldn't affect CPU usage anyway. What I'm going to do now is press on C and chop this clip into two. And then click on V to go back to the select tool. And I'm going to double click, drop it onto that clip, and double click and drop it onto that clip. And what you'll see now is it's started analyzing both these clips at once and CPU utilization is right up at 100%. Now, I'm not sure whether this will be affecting the tutorial, so hopefully we won't get any, any dropouts. I'm not gonna do three. Uh, I did test this just before I did this, and uh, I actually was getting around about 95% on average utilization. And so I retried it with doing three clips, so I chopped it into three, and I got a solid 100% a solid 100 CPU usage. What I did then try and do is change the settings I wanted to in one and copy it across to the other. But I got some slightly strange results when I did that. So one thing I would um, suggest is maybe you don't, I mean, give it a try, but maybe you let it just do its default settings across all clips, apart from the detailed analysis. You can switch it to detailed analysis if you want. And, uh, and then make all those changes individually. So it does take a bit more time to go in and then make all those changes separately on sort of two or three sections of a clip but if it takes 10 or 15 seconds what's that compared to maybe a minute or two saved uh, in analysis time and well probably a lot more than that if you're doing multiple clips so there you go there's just a quick tip on how to uh, make the best out of um, warp stabilization <laughs>